Hi everyone, my name is Chi Chang, and uh, I present uh, our uh, current work named Unsupervised 3D Recurrent Neural Network for Slice Misalignment Correction in Cardiac MI Image. Um, cardiac magnetic uh, resonance image is one of the best image modality for cardiac function quantification and disease diagnosis, as well as for planning and guidance of cardiac iteration due, due to its good soft tissue contrast, high temporal and spatial resolution, and absence of uh, radiation exposure. In order to uh, quantitatively analyze the global function and the uh, uh, regional myocardial motion. The 3D cardiac volume needs to be precisely reconstructed from a set of 2D CMR image combining both long axis and short axis view. However, the precision of two 3D reconstruction from multi planar CMR images strongly relies on the alignment of the cardiac geometry between image planes. Variation in breath hold locations to doing the uh, creation of different image plane will change the position of the heart in the images, resulting in misalignment of the cardiac geometry across all planes. Using machine learning based method to address the uh, misalignment between 2D slices in CMI images has not been well studied and can be the missing building block for an end to end accurate cardiac function analysis pipeline. Um, and by using the machine learning best method, rather than the optimization method, we could bridge the gap between two or 3D cardiac simulation and 3D aligned volume reconstruction and improve the overall accuracy without um, um, the accumulated losses. Secondly, we'll introduce our method. Um, we'll reformat the segmentation of the short axis images first. The Euclidean distance map defined as follows. Well, O denotes the target organ. BO is the point set that includes the boundary voxels of the myocardium. DXSAZ is the Euclidean distance from the um, XSA to Z. So here, uh, uh, after we calculated the Euclidean distance map, um, the points within the uh, target organ will uh, assign as zero, and other, uh, any points else will be assigned um, the value of the current point to the um, to the distance uh, to the, to the boundary of the target organ. After we calculate the Euclidean distance map, we will um, we can uh, get the intersection distance loss, which measures the average segmentation distance between the uh, short axis view and the long axis view. Um, LAID uh, is defined as follows: Well, lambda is the weight of uh, for each iteration. Um, XSA and XLA denotes segmentation volume of short axis and long axis from the last iteration. YSA and YLA denotes the offset prediction of the current prediction. Function T denotes spatial transform operation. Uh, function G um, is the Euclidean distance map function. Mm. And uh, so the first part of the formula uh, means after we get the uh, offset prediction, we uh, will uh, shift the uh, uh, Euclidean distance map of the short axis. And then we will um, apply the element wise product to the, um, to the second part. Here's the, for the second part, the T denotes a spatial transform operation and uh, I is the intersection function indicates the uh, segmentation image computed from the uh, long axis view uh, intersects the short axis view. And here is the uh, sample images show the multi-channel input format and the calculation of the intersection distance error. First column shows the slice of the original MR image and the associated segmentation of the left ventricle myocardium. 
second column shows conversion of the short axis segmentation, um, which uh, indicates the green lines and uh, into the Euclidean distance map. And the red lines show the intersection lines um, of the long axis with the short axis mask. So the third column shows after the, uh, the calculation of the intersection distance loss, the misalignment error accumulated from the um, multiply operation. Uh, the red arrow indicates the outlier of the of the um, of the, the loss calculation. So if the long axis or short axis, the misalignment between the long axis and short axis is very large, then the outlier will be um, will be a very large value. And here is the MCNet architecture and training process. Uh, the input of the network is the, um, has three parts. One is the short axis volume with the long axis volume. The short axis volume is the uh, calculated um, with the Euclidean distance map. And third component is the um, offset vector. For the first iteration, it will be black. And we use the VGG network as our backbone. After we send the input into the network and uh, output the offset vector, we split the offset vector into two parts. One is the short axis with offset vector, one is the left, uh, um, long axis offset vector. We apply this offset vector uh, with the um, with the short axis and long axis volume. Um, finish the uh, spatial transform. And, and uh, we apply the intersection distance loss between these two volume and calculate the loss. After we calculate the loss, we'll use that um, current iterations results um, as input for the next iteration. We find that um, by iterate three times, we'll get the pretty good um, uh, prediction of the offset vector. Uh, here's an example of a misalignment correction for the toy example. Uh, we use the CT segment volume to do this um, experiment. And here's the results. Uh, first table is the, um, we use the mean absolute distance by results for the different uh, experiment setting. Um, for the um, MCNet. You can see here um, that um, we, our network can um, efficiently uh, correct the missile alignment even if the, uh, the missile alignment shift uh, around 10 pixel. And the second table show us the average intersection distance and the mean control distance uh, for the different experiments. The optimization method directly use mask rather than the Euclidean distance map. So the average uh, ID can, uh, is not available to calculate. Uh, but we can see that uh, um, by n equals to three, the, um, the, by three iterations, MCNet can get the um, comparable result with the uh, optimization uh, uh, performance. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you.